only two ways to go about this year, guys. You either gotta <laughs> lead with it or you gotta <laughs> rock with it, okay? You're blocked with Eden Middleman and Simona Catalano. Welcome back, everyone. Happy 2021. Happy 2021. This is our first time recording. No, since... it's our second. It's our second episode. Oh, the other one we recorded in 2020. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. 2021 energy. Do we look different? Like New Year, New Me? Like, we like, do. Yeah. And I don't think I look better. <laughs> wow. like, it's just... Today, we're going to be talking about a topic that we know a lot of boys be feeling some type of way yeah, about. and like been asking, like been, been asking. in the DMs asking. In our DMs, I love how comfortable you guys are messaging us being like, yeah, y'all might, might dick be looking a little strange, just wondering if that's normal, go to the doctor. It totally <laughs> is. It totally fucking is. It's kind of like the same as women, mm -hmm. okay? Every woman is insecure about her vagina at one point or another, okay? So like, you know, you're like in elementary school or like, high school whenever the fuck you were started learning you, you, about your, you experienced your vagina okay you looked at her in the mirror or like you read about her in a book she's you scary saw her images, maybe you watched some porn like those vaginas don't be looking like your fucking vagina okay and you feel some type of way about it and the same thing with dicks guys so we know the whole argument does size matter we're gonna answer this in two seconds no it doesn't matter no it doesn't i don't matter. care how long but, but we're gonna is. also break down why that's right we're gonna break down why so I guess we should start with why are we insecure about dicks and vaginas? Like why naturally are we because worried? those are your private parts. So everybody is like, I don't want mine to like be different. Or like, is something wrong with mine? Why mm -hmm. doesn't mine look like that? And for mm -hmm. the longest time, I was like, why doesn't mine look like all of those like little fucking pink little, little flowers? Like little, I'm like, no, okay, <laughs> bitch. Go to a fucking any, like, women's health, literally anywhere. Read about real women talking about their vaginas. Watch real shit on Goop. Goop on Netflix, ladies. Watch it. She's going to take you through everything on her vagina episode. And there's nothing to be embarrassed or ashamed about. Vaginas are different, just like dicks. I think a lot of people talk about sizing for dicks. And I don't think yeah. we talk enough about the look of the actual dick. Because I know that sounds kind of funny, but every dick is different. Every dick is different. Every dick's got a little different curve, a little thickness, a little thinness, a little, you know, the head's a little like this, a little yeah. smaller. It's like all different. this. They're it's all different. different. Circumcised, not circumcised. They're all unique. They're all unique. Okay. And that is your superpower. We want you to own <laughs> that. Super exactly. Because what it comes down to is owning your vagina or owning your dick okay you just gotta own it that's mm -hmm. what you were given and the more confident you are within yourself and your dick mm -hmm. the the more like good looking it on, is yes and the more turned on your girl is going to be like I'm also, we're talking about like a, from a relationship standpoint, right? From like a girl that's like into you, that's serious about you. Like if you're my man, I'm already locked the fuck in. I love you. I got you. I love I your want pee -pee you. Baby. I love your dick. Like, Don't worry. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and like you owning that is so hot and attractive to me. Just like when I'm able to like own my body, own my sexuality, and just like be confident in myself, you're so, you're that much more turned on. I think it's also a maturity thing, bottom line. If you are going to make someone feel some type of way about their private part, you're yeah. mature and you need to check yourself. Exactly. Because at the end of the day, you should know and honestly stop fucking watching porn. It's all edited. It's all surgically made exactly. vaginas yes. and dicks. It's like not real life. Like these are, your dick is real. My vagina is real. Okay? Yes. Like, real vagina. Period. Like period. real. Real is the fucking way to go. Okay? <laughs> and I think that that's very important too, is for us to like take a step back from what we're seeing and from why we are so insecure about our private parts yes yeah. it's a private part but also because we have this perfect image in our head that we're sold and shown constantly yes that this is what a nice cute beautiful like, dick and vagina looks mm. like bottom line dicks and vaginas both kind of look a little gnarly to me like yeah like they're i mean like they're not like the, they're cutest, not supposed things. To be the cutest thing you know what i mean <laughs> like if they're gonna be a little janky yeah a little, it's gonna be a little, little weird oh, okay? yeah. <laughs> but like that's the beauty in it own your fucking weirdness okay and it's also like not just about your size and it's not just about how it looks mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. Because sex is like, it's a f it's full. It's everything. It encompasses every single thing. So like, it's not just like, oh my God, is she going to enjoy it? Is she going to like it? Is it going to, am I going to be, is it going to turn her on? The goal is to make each other come, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so like, when I tell you that like, if you're having a bad day and you can't make her come or like your dick's not doing it for her, when, trust me when I say she doesn't give a 
flying fuck. Start fingering her or eating her, okay? Like, do something else, like literally anything else. She's not going to be upset. She's not going to care. Mm -hmm. She just wants to get off, mm -hmm. okay? Okay. So if you're feeling self-conscious <laughs> and you don't really want to, like, show her or, like, work it or I don't know what your situation is, like, there are so many making out with her. Like, literally just get her off. Like, do anything else. She does not care. Yeah, at the end of the day, the dick is inside of her. We're not seeing it all the time. Do you know what I'm saying? And so bottom line, as long as it's, we always say, clean, well-groomed, taken care of, which is part of personal hygiene. So if you haven't yes. gotten that locked down, we got to lock it in. We need to talk about we this. Okay. We need, we need to work on that. So make sure everything is nice and clean and, and good down there. And then you can go from there and just really embrace that. Learn yes. to, to work inward and be like, okay, you know what? This is my dick. And at the end of the day, a mature human being is not going to be like, oh, it, it's a little bit curved, a little crooked or a little whatever, yeah. because it doesn't matter. And to be honest with you, between us, the best sex I've ever had was with interesting looking penises yeah like, not not the it, perfect straight it's about no. it's about the man attached to the penis if she's like a mature woman if you guys are in a relationship if it's something that you're serious about and so is she it's so much more than your dick it's it like it's like literally secondary and mm -hmm. i know everybody likes to like throw around social media dicks and mm -hmm. uh, all this stuff it's like so much more than that when you're dealing with like we've said people who are serious about you yeah and like i don't think you and i've ever spoken in depth about oh my god his dick look like this like it's not a topic of conversation no to no i'm women. like did you come yeah did you was, come? The, was the sex good like exactly. that's all that really matters when it comes to your dick in terms of a sexual partner relationship all that stuff it doesn't matter and that's the reality of it it doesn't matter and i just want to make everyone calm and relax here. yeah your vagina the way it looks doesn't matter your dick doesn't matter it's how you use it and how you how you move yes, with it and how exactly, confident you are exactly. with it exactly because let's say you know you've got a great schlong you got a big dick like love that for you am i going to come do you know what you're doing mm. okay mm. because you just sit there and be like i don't have a dick bro mm. i don't give a fuck yeah honestly every guy that i've ever seen or been with that had a big dick that everyone was like oh my god big dick big dick barely knew how to fuck like so seriously. explain to me how that dick really matters in terms of size and really matters in terms of looks because exactly. if you can't work it or if you aren't in tune with your sexual partner which bottom line is what it comes down to and you're yeah. working with them to experiment that to try. chemistry it's so much more like we've said so much more than the size and the shape mm -hmm. pleasure i think is what everybody is in it for obviously mm -hmm. everybody wants pleasure it's really nice of you to consider your partner's pleasure and make sure that they want to get off and that you're both on the same like that's team hot. and doing yeah. that, that's mm -hmm. hot. There's so many different things. Like me, just, just seeing a dick is like, it does nothing. Like it does absolutely nothing for me unless I'm like getting it from my man. Like if you're like standing there, like Nate, I'm like, I'm so turned on because it's you. Because it's you and it's, it's not you. just your dick. So get over it. Stop being so like self-centered about your dick or stop making Mr. Dicky like, start the show. He's getting in your head. He's getting in your head yeah. and he's fucking with your mental, okay? Like take five. Tell Johnny the schlong to fuck off. Yeah. And relax and take it easy. It's about you. It's and about how you. you maneuver with the dick and exactly. how you do her and how she does you and all of that good stuff. Um, To the guy that messaged us about his dick. This guy seems to be young and, and kind of uncomfortable. Maybe he's just starting out with that. So I think it's really important, as Simone always says, first experiment with yourself and come to terms with it and get comfortable with your own body. Like, yes. I was scared of my vagina. Like, Same. Like, still a little bit. Like, who is she? I don't know. And it takes some time to get there. You know what I mean? Yeah, you, you need to do your research and you need to learn for yourself about your anatomy, mm -hmm, right? Because mm -hmm. everybody just likes to talk on social media. Don't fucking listen to anything on social media because that's where all the fucking kids are playing. Wow! I need you to like actually like maybe go to men's health. Like I'm not sure where men can get it. Mm -hmm. I went to like Refinery29 mm -hmm. for women. Goop, their Netflix series was amazing. Mm -hmm. Masturbation, all of that stuff when you're learning your body and learning to embrace who you are and what you were given, mm -hmm. you need to talk and like read about real people. Mm -hmm. So you can be like relatable. I'm not alone. This is okay. This is what it looks like. Put the porn away. Yes, please. Okay, because please. that's just gonna make you feel so much worse. I don't look like any of those girls. Well, good. Good. Those girls because don't. They're literally surgically altered yeah. to like fucking look like eight year olds. And yeah. that's fucking <laughs> weird, okay? Fucking weird. Had to be said, guys. Had to be said. Yeah, I mean, it works. It's there. God gave it to you. Whoever gave it to you, it is what it is. Own it. Rock it. Do what you can. Make yourself happy. Make an enjoyable experience for you. And just really work on your self-talk. I think yeah. that's what it is. Self-talk. You know? like, yeah. 
positive. Cause, cause you feel weird when you're unsure about talking to like your friends or like you don't have anybody and it's, oh, I've been there. It's like so nerve wracking. So like you really got to take a hold of that part of your life mm -hmm. and do that information, get that research, get those answers and make yourself feel comfortable and start exploring and experimenting with people that you can trust. When I was hanging out with a bunch of my guy friends, um, one of them was talking about different vaginas he has seen and this conversation got me feeling some type of way because he was kind of like judging what this vagina looked like, which I'm sure for a lot of guys, they think girls do that too. Everyone has their own thing. So he liked a specific yeah. type of look of a vagina and that's okay, his preference cool. and that's fine. I like, it's not valid that he's bashing other girls' vaginas. Yeah. However, keep this in mind. There will always be somebody who will like your dick for what it is, or that will be their type of dick or their, their ideal dick. Do you know what I'm saying? Like everyone has different flavors, yeah. different tastes, different, different whatever. Flavors. So you have to understand that while to your, like to your eyes, maybe your dick looks different from what you're watching or what you're seeing. Understand that there's a girl out there that might be into that kind of dick or that kind of look. Yeah. If you're just casually fucking, like you want to fuck bitches, get money, <laughs> like then the, those bitches will judge your, your fucking dick. Like th they just want dick. It's all they don't about. care about anything else. But if you're with somebody, like we've said, if I'm with my man and like, let's say I'm talking to someone for like X and then it's time to like go there. And I'm like, oh, interesting. I'm already locked in because I'm like, I like this person. So like, let's just see how this goes. Mm -hmm. Like, let's just see. And then I'm telling you 98% of the time, she's going to be into it. She's not going to give a fuck. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you made her come, bro, you're winning. Like That's you're already, <laughs> you're already ahead of the game. Exactly. The real mature people. Exactly. Who know how to fuck. Oh will not God. actually care or judge. We hope that this made you feel like more comfortable, more yes. secure with your pee pee and your VV. Yes. Don't stress. Everybody is, is like, Oh my God, mine. Like from time to time, I'm still like, Oh my God, me like, uh, bitch own it. Mm -hmm. Own it. Take a fucking fire nude and then rock the fuck on. Rock okay, guys, the fuck on Rock everyone. the fuck on. Be safe, be clean. And, and that's all that really matters. Really it does. Thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the bell for the notifications. And we'll see you back here soon. Yeah, so soon guys. Bye. Bye.